Hello, I'm Joe Heller with Dana B Farm. And uh, today we're going to make a screened bottom board. Now, a screened bottom board is a little bit more involved as far as the construction than a solid bottom board, as you could imagine. There's a little bit more, a little bit more uh, to it. There's more uh, of uh, supplies you might need to get. But uh, we're going to build one. I'm going to show you all the measurements and, and how to build your own screen bottom board. Now, screen bottom boards were developed uh, be, for the uh, Varroa mite. And uh, what the idea behind them is, uh, as the bees come and go through the entrance, and as they're working in the hive body, some of the Varroa mites uh, will fall off, or they might be picked off. And when they do, they fall to the bottom of the hive body, they fall on, through the screen of the screen bottom board and then they'll fall to the ground and there they'll perish. And that's kind of the idea behind the screen bottom board. Also screen bottom boards might have a, a sampler board that you can slide in and out for when you treat for the Varroa mite. And uh, you can slide this sampler board in there and uh, you can pull it back out and get a sample of uh, the kill rate of the Varroa mite. Now if you're going to be a beekeeper, and if you're going to keep bees for any length of time, you're going to have to deal with the Varroa mite sooner or later. So this is a, uh, this is a good tool to have, and it's uh, good to have on your hive. Also it's good for ventilation, maybe in the summer. Uh, it's, it's real good for ventilation, to ventilate your hive. And in the winter, you can just leave your sampler board in there and then place a entrance reducer in there. That's usually what I do. Uh, here in Ohio for my climate here and I just leave it on there all year round. So I'm going to show you how to build one of those and the first thing we need to do is get our lumber together. Now the piece that takes the most work I guess is the two side rails. Now the two side rails are going to have to have two slots uh, cut in them and the first slot is going to you're going to come down three quarters of an inch because that's the gap that you want for your uh, for your entrance to your hive and three quarters of an inch seems to work well because you can use your uh, entrance reducer and also if you use a Hoff uh, a Boardman feeder it, it slides in there also so you want a three quarters of an inch space and then you want a three quarter of an inch slot now this slot is cut three quarters of an inch uh, you can use a dado blade on your saw or you can use a router three-quarter router a bit and you cut it about a quarter of an inch thick and uh, these are cut the ones I cut are just a little bit shy of three just what we call in the in the business a light three-quarters of an inch so then what you want to do is you want to come down another oh uh, this isn't really critical but what I usually do is put the uh, sampler board slot maybe halfway in in this area here and uh, then you'll cut a quarter inch by hmm, probably quarter inch uh, deep slot now you can cut this with a with a uh, a uh, router bit too maybe get you a quarter inch router bit and it would be the easiest thing to do to uh, put this slot in or you can use one of the thick dado blades uh, to put the slot in and that's what I do so that's the side rail so that's probably the most involved thing that you'll have to do to make the screen bottom board uh, is uh, put, putting the, these uh, slots in your board now like I said before this is a one by three 21 and three quarter inches long it's just white pine and uh, you uh, uh, this is what you make your side rails out of and you put your slots in. So after you do that, what we got is the front of your uh, front of your bottom board, screen bottom board is going to be a one by four. This is going to be the front. This is a couple inches will stick out for the porch for them to uh, to land on. So that's a one by four. And it is uh, 15 and a quarter inches long and that's your 
front. Then for your sides that goes in the slot, you need two pieces of uh, one by two. Now these two pieces of one by two will be cut 15 and a half inches long. So you need two of those. And then a one by three. Now this one by three is going to be 15 and a quarter inches long. And uh, that's for the back part of your bottom board. And then you'll need a stop. Now what I use is just a three quarter by three quarter by, I usually make it a little longer, 15 inches longer. Uh, or 15 inches long is usually why I make this. And uh, then I'll size it up after I put the bottom board together so it's a good fit. So just have that on hand. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to put it together. After you've done all that, now when you go to the when you go to the store to get your lumber, you know, you probably get a one by, you know, uh, you, you know, get one eight foot long. So you can maybe get uh, you can cut cut it up, cut enough pieces up to maybe make yourself two screen bottom boards. So, first thing we do is take our side rails. And we glue, always use glue. You want to get a good exterior glue. Uh, it keeps your uh, everything together when it dries. Everything's nice and, and tight. And it'll stay that way. And you put glue in your three quarter slot. Make sure you don't get any glue in your uh, sampler board slot. You only need glue in that. All right, then you take the front of your hive, which is the one by four. And what we'll do is we'll place this in the slot, in the front, have your three quarter uh, up, make sure that's up, make sure your slot for your sampler board is on the bottom, and you just put it in your slot there, get it nice and flush, and then you can nail it together. You can use nails, you can use uh, screws, screws are good. You want to drill a hole though if you want to use a screw first or it'll split your wood. So you can use screws. I use an inch and a half staple. And then, then after you do that, you want to put the other side rail on here. Make sure you get both sides the same. Make sure you got your three quarter end up on both sides. Put that in the slot. Put that in the slot just like so. Make sure everything's even. Okay, now you want to put your sides in. These are your inch uh, one by twos. Put those in just like so. Run back and forth, get plenty of glue on there. Then you'll shoot these in. Okay, and you want to do the other side. Put your one by two in there. These one by twos and one by threes and different sizes, they don't actually measure that size. It's after they're milled, they're probably about a half inch, half inch uh, smaller or a quarter inch smaller, so don't pay much attention to that. All right, shoot that in there. Okay, after you get that done, got a lot of glue there. Don't want any glue in your slot, uh, your sampler board slot, because it has to slide. It has to slide in there. Okay. All right, after we get that, then we want to put our back board in, our one by three. And it's going to go in here. Just like that. Make sure everything's flush here. Now this side here, you want to make sure this is flush. This back here is not going to be flush. It's not going to be flush here. Because when you put your sa sampler board in, you're going to be pulling it in and out from the back of the hive so you don't have to disturb the bees when you're checking. 
and this makes it a little easier for you to get a hold of that. So you put that there and we'll shoot that in place. And we got that side. All right. Now that we got that together, now what we want to do is take our square. You got to make sure everything's square. And make sure it ain't crooked. Okay, now it's all good and square. Now what we want to do then is put our stop in the back. So let's put a little bit of glue here. And we'll put our slot. Now what we have to do here is we have to measure this. I always measure this last because I want a good I want a good tight fit in here. I don't want it loose. So we get that in there, and that fits in there good and snug, just like so, and there. Now this you do want flush with the back. You want this flush with the back, and see how that's got a little bit of an indention there. That makes it easier for you to pull out your sampler board. Okay, let's put that in there, put a staple here. Ooh, that one came out. It almost got me. <clears throat> and then put one in the other side. So there. Now this is your frame. For your screen. Frame for your screen. All right, next thing we're going to do is going to put the screen on there. Now, what you want to use for your screen is you want to use eighth inch hardware cloth. Now, eighth inch hardware cloth is kind of hard to find, but uh, you look around your area at some of the hardware stores and they, they can get it for you. Or they might have it on hand. I got a hardware store over here that they ordered this for me. So you, it's got to be eighth inch. It can't be uh, a bigger size or a smaller size because it just won't work. So it has to be eighth inch. And what I do when I cut my screen, I cut it 18 inches by 14 and three quarter. And then after I do that, I'll hem a half inch all the way around. In other words, I'll bend it in half an inch all the way around. So when I put my fasteners in, it's good and strong. It'll hold, it'll hold it a lot better. Now, as you notice, this screen is curved. It's got a bow in it. That's from where it's been on the roll. So when you bend your screen, what you wanna do is you wanna have the curve up like so, and you wanna bend your screen over this way. You don't wanna bend it under the curve. You wanna bend it over. In other words, you don't wanna have your screen this way and bend it over. You wanna have the curve up and then you want to bend half inch in all the way around on here. The reason that is, is when you put it on your uh, frame, you want to put it with the bow down. And when you staple it down, you push down on the bow and you staple it down that way. That'll make it tight. Uh, it won't make it. So if you try to put it on with the bow down, you know, it's, it's, it, it's not as tight. It'll have a, a bow in it. So this makes it tight. And if you get screen that's not bowed at all, well, you might want to bow it a little bit. So that, that works that way. So that's how you want to do your screen. Now what we're going to do now is we're going to fasten this down to our, fasten this down to our frame. So now that we got our screen all the way around, now what you want to do is you want to make sure that it's even all the way around here and usually have a half inch all the way around and then you want to staple it down go down the sides on the front And 
and then you have it. So it's on there, nice and tight, and uh, nice and flat, and uh, that'll make it uh, a great, this will make a great screen bottom board. Now, what we want to do now is we want to take and uh, put our uh, follower board in. I mean, our, not our follower board, our sampler board, <laughs> sampler board in. Now, what we use for a sampler board is a piece of ready foam. And you get this at the, you get this at, uh, at uh, you know, craft store or any box store anywhere. It's just a foam board. It's about, uh, it's about a quarter inch thick, maybe an eighth inch thick. And uh, well, it's made out of foam of some kind. And so you cut it to the size of your slot here, inside of the, your uh, sampler board slot in the bottom. And then you want to cut it a little smaller than the measurement so it'll slide in. And then you just slide it in there, just like so. Now this would be the back of your hive, of course. And this will be the, so you can pull it in and out without disturbing your bees. Now the sampler board, you want white because the uh, Varroa mite is a reddish color. And you can see them. Uh, they're not microscopic and you, you can see them on here. So if you do treat for mites, uh, you put this sampler board in there and you can, you, you know, you can, you see how uh, much of a kill you got on the mites and uh, that's uh, what it's used for. And uh, uh, you can also, uh, uh, in the summer, I wouldn't put the, I leave the sampler board out in summer, it makes good ventilation uh, screen bottom board. Then in the winter, what I do is I just leave it in there, it doesn't hurt anything. And uh, they're, you know, they're cheap, they're a dollar. And you just leave it in there in the winter time. Then I'll put a entrance reducer in the front for the winter time, and uh, that's that's what I do. That's how I do it in the winter time for our climate here in Ohio. Now I got a super. I can sit on here just to show you how this works out. So you got your uh, one by four in the front. Now this is going to make your porch for your bees to land on. And then uh, inside, it'll the f screen is over, you know, or it's under the frame, so it'll work pretty good that way. Then in the back, see how you have this indention here, where it makes it easier to pull your sampler board out, and you do it from the rear of your hive so you don't disturb the bees. So that's uh, a screen bottom board. Now this screen bottom board is a, it's a good quality made out of pine and it's just as good as any you, you would buy and you could save yourself some money uh, building it yourself you probably would get a maybe get an eight foot long piece of board for each one of these pieces and you can make yourself a couple of them while you're at it so uh, I'm Joe Heller with Dana Bee Farm and that's a screen bottom board